Hello there. Crafty Kristen joining you again with MinistryToChildren.com and of course the trusty sidekick Fiona as always. Today we're going to do two crafts that have to do with coins or with money because we're talking about the story in the gospel where Jesus was confronted by some of the church leaders who said, is it right for Christians to pay taxes? So we're talking about coins and money this week and as such, we're going to do a couple of crafts that go along with that. Now, the first one that we're going to do is we're going to make a coin bank. Now, this is nothing new. We've made piggy banks and prayer banks and different things in the past. So it's going to be similar along those lines, but it's always a good time to make another one, especially if you've got some old tissue boxes or shoe boxes or maybe some coffee cans lying around that you need to get used up. So today we're going to use one of those containers I happen to have an old coffee can here. I'm not doing any sort of product placement whatsoever. We're gonna cover it right up. And you could also use some sort of a box or even a gift box or an oatmeal can or a lot of different things. So the basic idea is we're going to make a piggy bank and you can encourage kids to save their coins for tithing for the church or perhaps for a mission project or they could use it to put prayer requests in or all sorts of things, but you're going to take your, your container and we're just going to cover it with all sorts of decorations. You can make this as, as intense or as simple as you like. So first you're going to kind of want to make sure that you have the proper length of paper, which might mean that you need to cut it down a bit so that you can fit the paper around. And you'll test out the size a little bit. It's okay if it fits, if it's a little large, because you can always fit it into the container. Now, before you, before you do anything, you want to make sure you get rid of all the coffee grounds. Before you add your paper on, you're going to do some decoration. So this could be making some sort of a caption or a verse. You could write what you're saving up for. Um, so maybe, maybe you want to write tithing jar or tithing bank, or you could say something like coins for Christ. Maybe you want to add in some fun little decorations there. Just so happen to have plenty of stickers and even some sparkly foam letters here. So maybe you're going to use one of those. Coins for Christ. Jar for Jesus. You can make it cutesy like that. You can add in some more decorations. You can add some sort of a goal. Maybe you're saving to go to church camp and you put a goal on there. Um, do it however you want to do it. Make it fun, make it festive, make it exciting. Um, jazz it on up. So after you've gotten all of your decorations on, you can even add more decorations once you're done. You're going to wrap this around your coffee can. And you may need to add a little bit of reinforcement you might need to cut off a little extra piece of paper to surround it on the back. You're going to want to tape it up or glue it up. Make sure that it sticks. If you have some leftover hanging like so, you can just pop that right down into the jar or the can or whatever it is that you're using. And then prior to placing the lid back on top, you're going to poke a slit in it. So be sure you have some adult help with this so that kids aren't stabbing things into other pieces of paper or lids or plastic or whatever. Um, so you can usually get by with regular old scissors. Sometimes you may need a knife depending on what you've got in there. And you're gonna just cut some kind of a slit there so that you can fit whatever it is Prayer request slips, coins, dollars, checks inside. Now, if you want to have some extra fun 
you can jazz this up even more. You can add on some ribbons. You can add on some sort of a festive flair with pipe cleaners, maybe even hang this up using a pipe cleaner as like a, um, as a hanger, I suppose, as an extra fun decoration there. So you could do that um, if you want it to be a hanging bank device. So of course, make it however fun or festive you want it to be, do whatever you like with it, decorate it. Um, and then you have your coin jar to remind you of the coins in the store. You could also put one of the verses, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, give back to God what is God's. Uh, but that's a fun item to remember the story. Now item number two is going to be a little bit different, but you're going to make some sort of a coin collage or perhaps um, a cross coin collage. Now there's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can use actual money, if you don't mind sparing a few pennies. I understand there's a national coin shortage. That could be difficult these days, but you can use actual coins. These are actual pennies. You can use cardboard. You can use the kind that you might get in a, in a money play set or perhaps even Monopoly money or um, or you could make your own, not counterfeit money, but you can make your own coins by cutting them out of pieces, pieces of paper. And, um, and then you're going to, or, or you can also rub the coins. I'll show you that in a moment. So you're going to decide how you want to arrange your coins. Now, perhaps you want to have a cross to remind yourself of what you're doing this for. So maybe you have another a cross or even a, um, or even you add a cross onto your paper. You could cut it, you could paint it, you could glue it, you could do it however you like. In fact, let's put this over here. So you can have your decoration here. And again, we can remind ourselves of what Jesus is talking about in this story. And that main effect was that we are gods and we belong to God because we're made in his image. Give to God what is God's. Now, we're going to add our pennies or perhaps even artificial jewels or cardboard or paper or however you wanted to do your pennies or hey if you are a big ruler you could even add some quarters on there too who knows but you're going to glue and arrange however you like maybe you want heads up maybe you want some that are tails and you might need to use more glue than this or even some tacky glue because um, sometimes it can be tricky to get these things to stick, but then you're left with a shiny, beautiful example that is worth, what have I got on here, nine cents. And you've got your little reminder there of the story, which you are welcome to hang, um, add some extra decoration to that, some stickers, some more verses, um, and you can hang it up to Remember what we talked about there. Now there's one more thing that I'm going to show you. So we have those two main crafts, but then there are several other things that you can do with coins or with money. Um, one more thing that we're going to do is a coin rubbing. So what this is, is you take a piece of paper and it really works best with crayons. Sometimes you can do it with markers as well, but underneath the paper, you're going to place a coin any kind of coin. And then if you haven't done this before or done a leaf rubbing, I highly, highly recommend it. And basically all that you're going to do is take a pencil or a crayon or a marker. We'll give it a go with a marker. Like I said, crayon might work better, but you're going to simply rub it over that spot where the coin is and well, turns out the marker did not work so well. So let's try it again. 
Let's try it with a crayon. Apologies for the delay. Or a colored pencil. So this is going to etch in a little bit more your image if you lightly shade it through the paper. So that's one other element that you could use. You could even just do that for the fact of having circles that look like coins. It doesn't have to be perfect, precise just to the coin that you're using. Um, and you could also talk about who's on what coin, maybe try to replicate those and draw the different images of the presidents or however you like. Again, this is your craft, so make it your own, make it meaningful, um, have fun with it, get creative, get crafty, make some crafts, make some disciples. As always, we've got new stuff coming out every week. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you next time. Have a great week. Go make disciples.